Hi, this is Jeff Spencer, Math 120 instructor for the Community College of Denver, and this is our video lecture over section 3.3, where we're going to go over truth values for negations, conjunctions, and disjunctions. So in 3.1, we went over what statements were. Statements were sentences that can be deemed to be either true or false. And so that's when we talk about the truth value of something, whether it's true or false. Uh, so in 3.2, we went over what negations are the not of a statement, a conjunction, which is an and statement between, uh, a, a between two statements, an and between two statements, and a disjunction is an or between two statements. And so we're going to start evaluating the truth value when we have negations, conjunctions, and disjunctions of compound statements. So really what we're going to be doing, doing as far as the objective is concerned is number two. So let's look at a negation. A negation has the opposite truth value of the original statement because it's the not of that statement. So if the original statement is true, its negation is false. If the original statement is false, its negation is true. That should be pretty obvious. What about for a conjunction, an and statement? So a conjunction is only true when both statements are true. Okay, And another way of thinking about and is both. And when you need, when you have a conjunction, you need both statements to be true in order for it to be true. However, it can be false. A conjunction can be false when either statement is false, or both both statements are false. In other words, it's false if at least one of the statements is false. So anytime we say this statement and this statement and this statement, in order for it to be true, they all have to be true. But if at least one of the statements is false, then the whole thing is false. Uh, a disjunction, an OR statement, is only false when both statements are false. But it's actually true when either statement is true, or both statements are true. So you just need at least one statement to be true for a disjunction to be true. So OR is, is uh, less restrictive. You just need either or at least one of the statements to be true in order for the whole compound statement to be true. So let's take a look at some examples here. So we have some pretty simple statements here. It says P and Q represent the following statements. P is the statement that 10 is greater than 4. Q is the statement that 3 is less than 5. So if we look at this statement, is 10 greater than 4? Yes, that's true. Q is the statement 3 is less than 5. That's also true. So both of these statements are true. So it says determine the truth value for each statement. Now remember this symbol here is a conjunction, which means and or both. So, P and Q, is this true or false? Well, since P is true and Q is true, since both are true, and that's what we need for a conjunction to be true, this statement is true, since both are true. Now, the next statement says not P and Q. Now, remember, P was true, so the negation of it would be false. This statement is false. So, to say that 10 is not greater than 4 and 3 is less than 5 is not true because the problem is is 10 is greater than 4. It's not um, it's it's not greater than or sorry, it's false that it's not greater than 4. So since p is true, the not the negation of p is false, which makes this whole thing false. All right, let's go on to another one. It says p and q we got the same two statements and now we're going to look at um, the uh, disjunctions. So let's determine the truth value for each statement. So P or not Q. So you need either, either of these statements to be true for this to be true. If they're both false, then it's false. Well, P is true and Q, not Q, excuse me, is false because Q is true. So we have a true or a false. Well, that would make it true. Since 10, 10 is greater than 4, the statement P is true. Or this statement is false, but it doesn't matter. Only one component is false, therefore this is a true statement. So they would both need to be false for this to be false. All right, now here's a true statement and a true statement. The negation of both of them would be false, false. So this is false or this is false. So this statement's going to be false. They should be saying that same thing about not P too, since P is true. Not Q is false, so the disjunction is false, since both are false. All right, let's look at a little bit more complicated example. We have this bar graph showing the distribution of looks for American men and women. 
ranging from homely to strikingly attractive. So we're going to look at this statement. It's going to take a little bit to explain this. It says, use the information in the bar graph to determine the truth value of the following statement. It says, it is not true that 1% of American men are homely and more than half are average. Or it is not true that 5% of the American women are strikingly attractive. So basically what we have here is the key, the key idea here is we have a compound statement with an or, okay? We have the first statement, and that's actually a compound with an and. And then we have the second statement that says it's not true that 5% of the American women are strikingly attractive. Now, let's look at the first one. That's a, The first half of this is an and statement, which is a conjunction. It says it's not true that 1% of American men are homely and more than half are average. Let's look back at the graph. It says it's not true that 1% of American men are homely and more than half are average. Well, that statement is false because both of those statements are true. Okay, So when they say it's not true that these two things are happening, when they are both happening, then that statement is false. Okay, so we have a false statement at the beginning of this. This whole first thing is false. Secondly, it says it is not true that 5% of American women are strikingly attractive. So let's look at that. So we have a false. In order for this thing to be false, we need this thing to be false as well. So it is not true that 5% of American women are strikingly attractive. Well, it's, that's, that's a true statement. Only 3% of American women are strikingly attractive. So it says it is not true that 5% of American women are strikingly attractive. This statement is true. So since we have a compound statement that's a disjunction, the first part is false, the second part is true, this statement is true. So they go through a lot of explanation. I, I, I think this is actually more complicated. Uh, complicated, but notice that this statement, so they have this statement down here. This is the second part of the or. It says this statement is false. 3% of American women are strikingly attractive. Um, so it says it is not true that 5% of American women are strikingly attractive, which means that this statement is true. Okay, so we have a false and a true which makes it as a compound statement, as a disjunction, this statement is true. So more often we're going to be looking at simpler examples like this, but you do have to understand the three main rules for conjunction, disjunction, and negation. These three slides are going to be your most important to remember. Good luck, and we'll see you next time.